Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode of You Can Play Minecraft with the Redstone Chest. My name is Celtic Singer. Once again, I am your host for this series. Again, the series is aimed towards grown-ups who might have kids in their life who play Minecraft and just want to learn a little more about the game. So, in our last episode, we created a new world and now we're here and I'm going to show you some of the features. Okay. Now, to start with, you'll notice my computer is running really, really slow. Okay, this is because there are different settings that you can change once you're in the world that will affect the way Minecraft might play on your computer. So, to, uh, to access the Options menu, we're going to hit the Escape key. This gives you a couple of different options. It gives you a place where you can see the achievements that you've earned. We'll get more into achievements later also gives you a place where you can look at your statistics and believe me if you are a person who likes facts and figures this is the place for you because they measure everything in this game but what we're mainly going to look at is the options button here and this gives you various um, gives you a lot of information about the game and lets you really have a lot of control over the way the game is played. So the first thing we're going to look here, look at here is field of view. Field of view affects how your camera behaves in Minecraft. If you move your field of view down, you notice you notice that you can see things that are very far away, but you see them they like take up the entire camera. As your field of view goes out, then you're more focused on the stuff that is closer to you. Okay, but we're going to stick with field of view at normal, which is right here in the middle. Not too far, not too close. Next button we're going to look at here is difficulty. Uh, difficulty, we talked before about creative and versus survival worlds. Even within survival worlds, there are different levels. So for example, um, there is the peaceful difficulty. In the peaceful difficulty, it's almost like creative mode in that um, you don't have to worry about hunger, you don't have to find food, you don't have to worry about monsters, but it's still survival. You still have to collect your resources to be able to build anything. Um, so peaceful is one option. Next would be easy. In easy difficulty, you do have to worry about hunger. Uh, you will have to worry about monsters. Mobs will spawn in easy difficulty, but the mobs don't deal as much damage. Okay. Also, if you completely run your hunger bar all the way down, you won't die. You'll be left with about half your hearts. Okay. You also won't regain any health until your hunger bar is filled back up. Um, the next step up is normal. In normal mode, the mobs are a little stronger, they deal a little more damage, and if you let your hunger bar run all the way down, you'll be left with only half a heart. And half a heart is pretty challenging, because pretty much anything hits you, and you're going to be dead. And then there, the last one is hard difficulty. In hard difficulty, the mobs are very, very strong. Zombies can break through doors. If you let your hunger bar run all the way out, you will die, etc., etc. It's harder to get away from some of the monsters, so we're not going to deal with hard difficulty. We're not even going to deal with normal difficulty. I usually personally play in either peaceful or easy. One thing about peaceful, it is not a guarantee that you will not die. You can still die if you take a lot of damage all at once. So, for example, if you fall into a pit of lava, you might die, or if you fall from a very tall height, you may die. So, peaceful difficulty is still, can still be dangerous, but it's just a lot less dangerous. So, we're going to start with easy. Alright, there are some other settings here that will affect the way the game plays, and we're going to look at video settings right now. And this screen right here is the cause of my computer running very slow. Um, various buttons, a lot of these buttons don't have a whole lot to do with the way the game runs, 
but this one right here does. Render distance determines how far out the computer is sh shows you the terrain. As you're moving into a new area, the terrain has to build, and when your render distance is set very far out, it has to build a long way away. When you're just dealing with local stuff, then you want to set your render distance to a much smaller amount. I usually use two. <laughs> Unless I, unless I need to see the sky for some reason or I need to see some details, I usually use two. It, for my computer, it is what makes my computer run fast, makes this game run the fastest. Some other things, you, can't, you have your choice. You can either do fast graphics or fancy graphics. Obviously, fancy graphics are going to take more processor speed. So again, it's something that can affect the way your, your game runs. Um, you can also choose smooth lighting or just turn it off. Basically in Minecraft lighting plays a big factor in how mobs spawn and how monsters appear so with smooth lighting turned off you can actually see the light level on each block individually and I find that's very helpful especially when I'm first building something. Um, the rest of these are mainly just for gameplay. Um, Particles can be important. I always leave them on, even though they may make the game run a little bit more slowly. They are very helpful when you're trying to figure out what, who or what might have effects on their, their character at any given time. And we'll talk about effects more later. So, um, The other thing that really affects your gameplay as a whole are the music and the sounds. Currently I have the music and sounds turned off because it's a little distracting when I'm trying to talk to you. Um, but you can see that uh, periodically you can there will be music that will play in the background. It's, some of it's very nice, it's very peaceful. So you can choose to have the music up very loud, you can choose to turn it down, uh, or you can choose to turn it off entirely so then you have no music. Um, weather uh, there, weather is a factor in Minecraft. You'll periodically have storms, uh, and those storms will produce lightning and thunder. There will be thunderstorms, so if you have your weather turned up, you'll hear the rain. You'll actually hear the lightning and thunder, which for some people, that can be very relaxing too. Hostile creatures are pretty important because that warns you when there's going to be a monster coming into your game setting. So, for example, you know, zombies make a very particular noise, and if you hear that particular noise, you know there's a zombie in the area. Same thing with skeletons and spiders. So you can actually hear the creatures as they're getting close to you, and that's very helpful because you know when something's about to come and kill you. Uh, players, this is just, are you going to hear other players when they get close? As you progress and get more advanced, you'll find things like jukeboxes, note blocks, that would affect those. Blocks, this is, do you hear the sounds while you're mining, breaking the blocks? Friendly creatures would be like cows, chickens, dogs, you know, any anything that's not a tan. And then ambient environmental sounds are things like the water, you know, various noises like that. So you can turn those up, turn those down. We're going to go ahead and turn up the volume a little bit just so I can hear any monsters that might come after us. So you will not be able to hear them on the video, but I can hear them, and so I know when to be looking for them. All right, the rest of these are, honestly, I pretty much never use, but there are definitely some more things that you can explore as you make your way in Minecraft. So, covered a lot. We still haven't really gotten into playing, but we will soon, so come back. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you have any specific questions, please leave them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. And we hope to see you more on You Can Play Minecraft. Thanks. We'll see you soon.